In this video, I'm gonna be making some eggless chocolate chip cookies. If you are curious about the recipe, if you want written instructions, the recipe is gonna be at TammyDunn.net. I'll give you the link to where I found the recipe. Uh, so what you're gonna do is heat your oven to 350 degrees. You're gonna need a cookie tray with a piece of parchment paper. You need a cookie scoop or um, just you could use a spoon too, but I have a cookie scoop. Um, and these are the ingredients you need. You need one cup plus two tablespoons of flour. You need half a teaspoon of baking soda, one stick of butter at room temperature, a fourth cup of sugar, a fourth cup of light brown sugar. You need half a teaspoon of vanilla, two tablespoons of milk, and half a cup of chocolate chips. So the first thing you do is you have, you put your dry ingredients together, which is your flour and your baking soda. And you put those together and you take a whisk. And this is just an attachment that I have. So the flour and baking soda, and you kind of mix it up like this. And then you're gonna set this aside. And then we're gonna take our butter and we're gonna put it in our mixer and we're gonna mix it until it's creamy. I've had this butter sitting out for a, uh, probably an hour. And so you want to use your whisk attachment on this as well and uh, mix it until it's creamy, like I said. take both of your sugars, your white sugar and your brown sugar, and you're gonna mix, mix those. Now add your milk and vanilla and mix again. to add your dry ingredients. So just put that right in there and mix it again. Start it off on low so that it doesn't poof up. You want to take this off of your the stand and you want to stir in your baking chips and I am using the Hershey's milk chocolate baking chips so once you have these stirred in you want to leave this just like it is and put this in the refrigerator for half an hour to let it chill so once a half an hour is up we'll be back okay this has been in the refrigerator for 30 minutes uh, but i'm going to use my cookie scoop and you see i have my parchment paper and so i'm just gonna uh, place balls of these onto my paper sheet that I'm gonna fill up but while I'm doing that I'm gonna put these in the oven for 11 minutes to bake this is how the cookies look after 11 minutes and they didn't spread out very much I was worried that they might spread out a little bit more but they didn't on my second uh, cookie sheet I only got five cookies so 16 there will be 16 total cookies that this recipe made for me uh, of course you could make them bigger or smaller uh, but I think 16 is a good amount and they look beautiful so I'm gonna let them sit here and cool completely 
Okay, we have our cookies here, and they look absolutely. Let me get this one that has tons of chips. In delicious, it. yeah, I know. That's what I, I look at, and they're perfect on the bottom. Oh, they they're really nice. Yeah. So what's the deal with these? These are eggless, no egg. Huh? What are they having in place of? You know. They have flour, baking soda, regular sugar, brown sugar, vanilla, milk. A stick of butter, chocolate chips, that is delicious. They're very good. So I wonder what makes a, I don't know what the point of an egg is anyway. Absolutely delicious. A binding, I guess. Mm-hmm. Those are very good. That, the texture of that is, it's soft. Mm -hmm. You, um, you get a buttery flavor from that. That's full of chocolate chips. Of course, it's a whole stick of butter, you know? So, mm. I would definitely make these again. I think this is perfect if you can't have egg for some reason. Yeah, or if you're allergic or something like that. If you're allergic or if you're out of eggs, if, if you happen to have yeah. everything else. Yeah, that's and true. And you're just out of eggs. You could, you don't have to use chocolate chips. You could use peanut butter chips. You could use uh, white chips. You could use, um, uh, what did I say, butterscotch. Um, or just replace them with some kind of nut, like a, a pecan or something mm -hmm. like that, if you wanted to. That These are very good. Absolutely nice. delicious. Though. If you didn't, if I didn't know that mm -hmm. they were eggless, I would just say that's a really good chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, you would have no idea that these were any different. No. So no, they're really good. So if you are, I think most people are allergic to egg that don't do eggless stuff. They're mm -hmm. allergic. So, or do you just don't want to eat something out of a chicken foot? <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, these are really good. Yeah, I think that's a fantastic cookie. So, like I said, if you want the written instructions, I'm going to, at TammyDunn.net, I'm going to post a link to where I found these because I went to someone else's blog and I found them, so I will post the link to that. And I, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you try them out. If you do, let me know. I think these are perfect. They, mm -hmm. they were so easy to make, too. So thanks for watching.